Let's take a look at the geometry parameters tools for the Graytech Power Pack ribbon in Revit. What you'll see is we're able to add information that's associated to column height, beam elevation, wall height, wall thickness, slab elevation, lintel slash sill elevation. What this does, for example, if I select in here all my columns, from this, I'm now going to get out the column height. If I go to the Grey Tech Power Pack tool, column height, what this does, it adds a height parameter to all these columns. So, for example, if I go into the schedule in here and add an extra field, you'll now see this new one has been added. If I simply add that in and place it into the list, you'll see it's now indicating the height of each column. If I go back and change any heights, so for example if I select a few of these columns here and if I go into the properties and change information, so for example if I make these a metre higher, when I go back into the table you'll notice nothing has changed. But if I run the actual refresh or if I do column geometry again, it will update the appropriate heights on those elements. Let's have a look at beams. If I do the same thing and I select beams inside here or structural framing, I can go to the Grey Tech Power Pack. I can select the beam elevation tool. This again puts a shared parameter with inside the element. If I then go and look at the actual beams themselves in the schedule, add in the shared parameter to the schedule. So you'll see here bottom level, top level. I add that in, select OK here you'll see it's indicating the top or bottom level. If anything changes with inside here, we can again update it appropriately inside the project. Let's have a look at walls. So for example, if I select the two walls in here, go to the Grey Tech Power Pack tools, come down here, select wall height, it will add the shear parameter for wall height. If I do the same again, and come in here and add the wall thickness, again, it will add the shear parameter for us. We can then go into our wall schedule go into our fields and add in those parameters. That information is now schedulable outside the project or putting the schedule onto a drawing you can now indicate what the wall height is and what the wall thickness is as well. Let's now have a look at the floors. So same thing applies if I select the floor, if I go to our tool slab elevation, if I select that, add the shared parameter for floors. If I then go into the floor schedule and add the parameters with inside here, we can now get the top and bottom level of the slab scheduled in our schedule. Let's now have a look at the lintel and the sill elevation tool. Again, if I select all the windows inside here, this gives me the option to now go to the Grey Tech Power Pack tool, select the lintel and sill elevation. It will then add the shear parameters for both sill and lintel elevation. If I now go into my window schedule and add those parameters, like so, you can now have these elevations added into your schedule 